Oh my god. <coughs> it's a campfire. Oh my god. And the tree's on fire. Holy crap. Hey everybody, it's Matt, Wrestling with Whiskey, back again. Take the E, get it out. We are still diving in to Scotch Whiskey, courtesy of my friend Jace. Taste with Jace, J-A-I-S, on Instagram. Find him, writes about food, spirits, all kinds of things. Check him out. He supplied us with our sample today. And our sample today, from what I'm told, is the creme de la creme of scotch. This is one of the more sought after releases, especially for aficionados, because while it comes from one of the major distilleries, you may not recognize the label right offhand if you're not fully into scotch, because this is what we're having. It is an A. Murray, Alexander Murray and Company release. And Alexander Murray Company does not make scotch, but they are what we know as America, an independent bottler. They buy various casks and batch them or release them as single cask releases and export them around the world. So they, they select their own individual cask. Independent bottler. That's what Alexander Murray does. And they are known, they have a reputation for bottling very, very fine spirits and releasing them around the world. So this one is a 12-year cast strength, 108 proof, distilled at the Laphroaig Distillery. And now if you do know Scotch, you know Laphroaig is known for its peaty, peaty, peaty Scotches. It is one of the heavy peated scotches in the whiskey world. So, as someone who's not overly familiar, I am very curious and a little terrified to jump in, but I am excited to check out one of the finest independent bottlers, their release of scotch, Laphroaig, 12-year cash strength. Let's dive in. So here we have it. We have a Laphroaig distilled a. Murray, independently bottled and released, cash strength whiskey. Now, right away, you can take a look at some of the other ones. That is a pretty light color. Even for 12 years, even in used barrels, that's pretty light. That is like a light amber. It's like you take white wine and darken it just a little bit, and that's almost like that, which can happen a lot in scotch, actually. So I'm very curious to dive into this one. It's supposed to be heavy peated. Let's check it out. Cheers. Oh my god. <coughs> it's a campfire. Oh my god. And the tree is on fire. Holy crap. That is smoky. Now, like, I've had peated scotches before, um, but holy crap. You can tell, it's like, oh, it smells smoky and a little, that, that peatiness. I've gotten used to what that smells like, but my god. That is literally a campfire. That is pieces of wood. I know peat moss is like this grassy earthy substance, but this is like wood lit on fire. Literally just lit on fire. And it's just burning leaves. I don't know if I, if I like it or not. I know this is a this is a popular profile among scotch drinkers, so I should give it a chance. Oh my god. There's some like caramel and fruits underneath that, but it is all smoke, fire, and wood. Light citrus and apple, but ooh, it is hard. It literally, is, my nose hurts from breathing smoke is what it feels like. Dive in. That being said, the palette on this is fascinating. And did I lose? I lost my screen again. Damn it. The palette on this is, there's obvious, there's the smoke, there's char, there's tons of spice, but there's like tobacco, there's vanilla caramels that are reminiscent of bourbon, but there's that earthy peatiness, rolling layers of tingling spice. The finish, as it dries on the roof of your mouth, leaves some graininess. It's this lingering, earthy nature, which I thought I would freaking hate, but I don't hate this. I don't know if it's something I would drink all the time, but this is absolutely fascinating. While not my normal thing, this is something I would love to have in a collection of scotches that was in my closet, because it's just so fascinating. It's a conversation piece. Even if you have people who like whiskey but hate peated scotches, they're going to be intrigued by this. I guarantee it because I'm kind of that way, but holy crap, this is interesting. And more fruits do come out of it as it gets more air and it sits in the glass longer. So do not dismiss peated scotches if you're not into them or if you think 
you're not into them. Because I really enjoyed this. I'm fascinated by it. Thank you once again to Jace. Taste with Jace, J-A-I-S, on Instagram. Check him out. Thank you for providing us with the sample today. Always be diving into something that makes you uncomfortable. Expand your mind, it'll expand your palate, and you'll have a lot more fun. And always be wrestling with whiskey. Yeah! <laughs>